I want to talk about meningitis for a couple of reasons. Firstly, meningitis can be a life-threatening illness. And so we need to understand the illness. We need to understand how it spreads and how it is that we can prevent meningitis in order to save lives. Secondly, in some parts of the world, meningitis can be absolutely devastating. There's what, what we call the meningitis belt in sub-Saharan Africa. And if you're interested in global health, this is a serious issue that you really need to know and understand because it's an area where there's absolutely an opportunity to intervene and save lives. It's also an important public health topic because firstly, there's a lot we can do to prevent meningitis through vaccine programs. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. There's a lot we can do to treat people that have meningitis. If there's a case of meningitis, there are things, and it depends on the causative agent, of course, but there are things that we can do to help that person. And we can prevent the spread of meningitis to other people. So it's a real public health issue. But before we carry on, welcome back to this Global Health YouTube channel. My name is Greg Martin. If you like the content in this video, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, you'll get notified of future similar videos. Let's carry on. Buryashaka. Now, what is meningitis? Meningitis is really the inflammation of the, the membrane that covers the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, and it's mostly caused by an infective agent or a microbiological pathogen. And this can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. The most common causes of meningitis are bacteria and viruses, and bacteria tend to cause more serious illness than viruses. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is vaccination programs. Vaccines are incredibly effective in terms of preventing meningitis. They save lives. They're absolutely amazing. The world without vaccines would be a very, very different place.